we're also waiting for him. Um, and that kind of pain of separation you feel when you're waiting for someone and the fact that you do anything you can to speed it up. So the challenge this month is to get to know the Imam better. And the way we thought we would do it uh, would be to look at his names, the names we use so often, and see what lessons we could draw from those in our own lives. So the first one, obviously, is Al-Mahdi, uh, the rightly guided one. Yeah, and you know what, this title is such a beautiful title. It's so relevant in today's day and age. There's so many sources of misguided and it's so easy to get misguided. So what if in every situation that I'm a little bit stuck in, I start thinking, what would Imam do? And I think that will just make my life so much easier. One, I'm actively waiting for him because I'm actively thinking about him. And secondly, I don't have that pressure on me because I'm thinking, okay, what would Imam do? How would he guide me here? Mm. Because he is the one who is rightly guided. The next titles are just so beautiful. They are al muntadar and al muntadir Yeah, so not only is the Imam awaited, he's al muntadar but he's also waiting, waiting to be allowed to return al muntadir and that's obviously something we can identify with because yeah. we're also waiting for him. Um, and that kind of pain of separation you feel when you're waiting for someone and the fact that you do anything you can to speed it up. Yeah. Um, I guess is what we're trying to do here. This is the whole point of the active Islam movement and these challenges is to better actively await the Imam and therefore bring forward his reappearance and shorten his waiting, inshallah. Inshallah. The other name we were looking at was al qai the one who rises. And actually in Bihar al-Anwar, one of the reasons that he's known as Al-Qayyim is because he will arise for the truth. Mm. And I think that's like a really good reminder for us um, to, to rise up and stand for our truth, whatever that is, in yeah. every situation, no matter how big or small, on a day-to-day -day basis, there are times when we have to stand up for the truth or kind of just go with the flow. And I think this name specifically is a really good reminder that just as the Imam will stand against injustice, we have to too. So what I think we should do is keep a board by the front door and write one name of the Imam um, every single week. And that way, so when we leave for work or we get on with our lives, day to day lives, that we're actually reflecting one of the names of the Imam and one of the titles of his in every action of ours. And it's a constant reminder, inshallah, every single day. Mm. And therefore, you know, we're actively awaiting our holy Imam, inshallah. It's a good idea. Let's do it. Let's do it.